JD here and as you can see we are back once again with a new video here today and once again discussing real life Formula 1 because today we had a bit of an incident that has caused a bit of a divide within the F1 community and that is with Alexander Albon who crashed at turn 6 in practice. I believe he did exactly the same thing last year. But because of this, the car was a write-off and they didn't have a spare chassis. So now they've decided to sacrifice Logan Sargent's seat for Alexander Albon to continue in the race. And of course, this is going to bring quite a few questions. And really the purpose of this video is just to hear what your thoughts are. One, do you think this was the right decision? Do you think it was a wrong decision? Do you think it was the moral decision, the ethical decision to make? And how can we avoid something like this happening again in future? Because yes, Albon has achieved 27 points in Williams versus Sargent's one point, but it was Albon's mistake. And he did exactly the same thing last year. And I'm not being funny, but the Williams don't really get in the points too much. I feel it was a very, very uh, bold decision. And I think the other question to ask is, why is there no spare chassis? In one of my recent videos, I think the last one I did, I discussed why the cost cut might actually be a limitation than a progression on teams actually further developing themselves. And I know a lot of people did disagree with that, but I think the problem is that teams are not only un being unable to develop their own ideas, but even being unable to have spare parts, and in this case, a spare chassis, considering how much Logan Sargent actually has crashed a car and you know, these things do happen. In terms of modern day Formula One, do we really feel that this is acceptable? And for me personally, although strategically, it probably is the right choice to have Albon driving. The question is, is it the ethical choice as you are actually sacrificing the experience of a driver at the expense for another's mistake? And this must be absolutely shattering for Logan's confidence and begs the question, what's the point of even having him in the team? If you didn't have this confidence in him, then why did you proceed? Why didn't you just swap out with a new driver? I know his contract is ending at the end of this year, but really, I think this is what frustrates me about Formula One. We want to see the absolute best drivers. We don't want to see money drivers in these seats. We don't want to see drivers who are going to be able to sell more tickets to different nationalities and audiences, which I get F1 is a business and I think a lot of people are getting a bit tired about right now, but we want pure talent in these seats. And if you don't think a driver is able to cover their teammates mistake, then what's the point in them actually being in the team so I just really want you to let me know what your thoughts are whether this decision was correct whether it was wrong and what can F1 can do to avoid this recurring and as far as I'm concerned I don't think there was anything in the rules saying that you couldn't do this so I think in the future something like this actually does need to be put in the rule book to stop this happening because I don't think a driver who's made a mistake like that um should be getting away scot-free and another driver, their teammate who hasn't made a mistake, yes, might not be performing on the same level, but imagine the confidence that Sargent has now. It's basically confirmed the team thinks he is a clear number two driver and he doesn't have the talent to get in the points. So let me know what you think. Hopefully the decision pays off because without points, it might be a bit of a tough pill to swallow. Hope you have a great weekend. Hope you enjoyed the Grand Prix and I'll be catching you in more videos next week. Peace.